Hi, I'm John Weiler, Creator Survival Trial, and this is our uh, second live update for the ST9 Winterborn. Let me get my watch out here. It's uh, midnight, so we're 12 hours into the ST9 Winterborn Race of Champions. And uh, if you've been watching at home, you've been seeing how these teams have been very aggressive out here. They are just about done with our southern portion of the arena. I'm standing right now uh, at our physical obstacle number two, I believe. It's the next one up in the chain, if you can kind of see a little path that they're taking. Um, we're getting ready for them to come up, and this one's called Game, and they'll have to uh, have to pull out uh, some, well, first have to quarter their elk of a lifetime that they've shot here and take it back to their base camp. So they'll be filling sandbags here and uh, dragging them with their sleds and rope were on their packing list so that's the next thing for them so but this is a race it's a very exciting one too because it's been pretty uh head to head so far i mean everybody's been been very even uh, the teams are starting to show signs of wear as the temperatures drop and it's getting pretty cold out and uh they're feeling it in their movement and they're feeling it especially when they stop so we put on a uh, uh limit for how long they can stop before they're disqualified and that's one hour in this race and that's mainly so we can help to combat hypothermia we've been uh, very fortunate with the weather so far it's been beautiful today I and mean, it's it is not very good winterborne weather but it's been beautiful uh, but the nights we have a uh, we have open skies and it's cooled off pretty quick we're starting to get a little bit of a breeze so uh, when you're out moving in it when you're out all night it's it can take its toll so uh, we'll do our health and welfares in the morning make sure everybody's doing okay but we have Terra Victor that's going to be heading up to our location now. They opted not to do the physical obstacle number one, the cache. Uh, they would have had to walk back uh, the way that they came, uh, roughly uh, six kilometers, I think, one way. It's, it's roughly like a six mile turnaround there and back, going back the way they came. So they opted not to do that. Their feet are starting to get tore up on the, uh, on the hard pack uh, roads. So they're just going to continue on and, and work towards that finish line. Rally Caps is, they're, they're moving very strong, incredibly strong, and uh, just a lot of fun to be around, too. They're, all the teams are all a lot of fun to be around, but they're, uh, they're not, they're, they're very uh, good spirits, high spirits, and uh, just taking whatever, whatever is next, uh, they, just, they just do it. So uh, keep your eye on, on Rally Caps, because they're, they're moving real strong. And finally, Team 4040, they just finished up with uh, physical obstacle number uh, four, I believe boil whichever is on your map there um, built a fire extremely fast that's the best fire that we've seen out of all of them and it was uh, I happened to walk up there or drive up there when uh, when it was going and it was it was nice it was a nice uh, warming warming time for everybody uh, they did a good job boiled their egg uh, they're starting to show signs of fatigue too their feet are uh, starting to hurt on uh, one of the team members but it doesn't matter I mean we talk about it I ask I can I can clearly see that it hurts for them to walk I say, hey, how's your feet doing? And everything's good. Good. How's it going? Great. So that's the type of competitors that we have out here. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the conditions are, what we ask them to do. Because we've been asking them to do some very difficult things. Uh, they just do it with a smile. Okay, and I'm going to talk through our shooting scenario number two. Some of you have been seeing the, the teams up there. That was That's probably one of the harder ones that we've had. And that was uh, a little bit further east on its Eagle Tail uh, Peak is what, what we're working on or around. But uh, that, they had to drag a roughly 150 pound Jake. It's almost 600 meters up at a you know, pretty consistent incline while engaging with their semi-automatic rifle. And then once they moved their Jake to the designated location, they continue forward and engage with their sidearm with, uh, against silhouettes, and then they move back, breaking contact. So they had to engage on their way back, the relay, and they tag their teammate in, teammate move forward while engaging, and then uh, pull back on the uh, Jake and extracted that Jake all the way out. So it's been a, it's, that's a, that's a very physically challenging, on top of your skills, where uh, um, everything kind of comes together, <laughs> it makes it a makes it makes it a pretty hard one. And we've seen a lot of a lot of the competitors walk out of there kind of beat up. So, but they're they're getting their feet back underneath of them. 
and uh, doing real well. So, all right, so we are at 12 hours the end, so roughly a quarter of the way done with the uh, um, Winterborn Race of Champions. So, we'll be back here in about four or five hours, give you an update on how everybody's doing and how the night is going or has gone for them. And uh, daylight's coming, and when daylight hits, everything changes. So, I'm John Wyler, creator of Survival Trial. We're here for the ST9 Winterborn Race of Champions, and I'll see you back here in a few hours.